for today's strategy, I will be showing you an amazing strategy created by one of my subscribers. This strategy is amazing, as I enjoy scalping low risk high reward ratio that is really profitable, as it assures me that in the long run, I will always be profitable, no matter the market condition. It was back tested 200 times, and it is very easy to understand. It was recently discovered, as the strategy uses just two indicators, which makes it very easy and user friendly for beginners. So watch to the end to fully understand the strategy. I will back test it 200 times with an initial account size of $1,000, with a 1 is to 2 risk reward ratio. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as it really helps the channel. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask in the comments section, as there are a lot of traders willing to help. Okay guys, so for today's strategy, we will be using two free indicators in our chart as stated by one of my subscribers. Please note that we would be using the strategy on Australian dollar Japanese yen, and we are on the 5 minutes time frame. Before we add the indicators to our chart, please note that we won't be taking a lot of trades using this strategy alone. And also, this strategy worked well on trending currency pairs, so let us go ahead and add the indicators to the chart. But before we do, I want to let you know that we hunt for pullbacks as we enter trade when there is a pullback in the market. So we would be combining the Hoffman indicator to our chart together with a pullback indicator to better analyze the financial market. For the first indicator, go ahead and bring up the indicator panel. I want you to search for the Rob Hoffman overlay set by Ux Gears. For this indicator, we will not be using all of its scripts as we would be making use of its no trend zone to identify when we should wait for the next trend continuation and no doubt, this strategy could be added to your trading arsenal. Let's move on. And for the second indicator, go ahead and search for the scalping pullback tool by Just Uncle L. This study project is a scalping pullback trading tool that incorporates the majority of the indicators needed to analyze and scalp trends for pullbacks and reversals on 1 minute, 5 minutes or 15 minutes charts. The setup utilizes Hike and Ashy candle charts, so we would be using this indicator and the former to get the best possible entry for our trades. Now we have our trade looking like this. Let us quickly make some adjustment to the indicators to better understand how the strategy work and for clear visualization. As you could hardly identify what we are looking for with a chart like like this. So go ahead and double click on the Rob Hoffman indicator. On the style settings, go ahead and untick the fast speed line, the slow speed line, the fast primary trend line, slow primary trend line, trend line 1 to 4. We would be leaving these three below as it is only what we would be using for this strategy. Go ahead and click on the OK button when you are done. And for the scalping pullback tool, double click on it to bring up the setting panel. On the style, I want you to untick the high pack EMA low pack EMA and the close pack EMA. Then for the bar colors, change color 0 to green, color 1 to red and color 2 to white. Now for the background color, I want you to adjust the opacity for the three colors to 25. When you are done with adjusting the colors to 25 for better visualization, I would want you to go ahead and untick the rest of these script. Do not forget to click on the OK button when you are done. Now we have our chart looking like this. Let's quickly go ahead and explain what these indicators would be doing. Before we go ahead to give the conditions for a valid buy and sell signal. Now for the Hoffman indicator, we would be using the three lines to determine the point of pullback in the market. As when price action is inside those lines. We won't be taking trades, but rather looking for opportunities to enter trade in an ongoing trend. And for the scalping tool, it tells us when we are in a bullish or bearish trend, as when the background color is in green, it shows the market is in a bullish trend, and when it is in red, it shows the market is in a bearish trend. The orange background color indicates when there could possibly be a change in market trend direction. And for the changes on the candlestick, the green shows when there are more buyers than sellers in the market. And the red candlestick shows when there are more sellers than buyers in the market. The white candlestick indicates neutrality in the market. So now we are equipped with all the settings we need. Let's quickly go over the conditions for a valid buy trade. And by the end of the video, we will be back testing the strategy. So for a buy trade to be valid, we need to have the background colored in green as our first confirmation. Then we need to wait till price action pull back towards the Hoffman no trend line. 
before we enter trade at the next green candlestick that closed above the Huffman no trend line. So we see we met all our conditions here. As we have our background colored in green as the first confirmation. Then we see that price action pulled back towards the Huffman moving average. And we got our entry point here, where price action closed above the moving average, and the candlestick colored in green. We will go ahead and place a buy stop at the peak of this candlestick, and our stop loss will be at the previous swing low, while our take profit is at two times the risk, and we could see that the trade was successful. Please note that whenever we see a red candlestick in a bullish trend, we would not be taking the next green candlestick trade that closes above the moving average. As we can see here, we already had the red candlestick closing below the 3 moving average. So we will not take this trade. We only need to see price retrace towards the Huffman moving average but not closing below the 3 moving average with a red candlestick present on the chart. So here, we can see the next trade was valid as when we had price action pull back. It did not show any of the red candlestick. So we would be taking this trade here. Our take profit and stop loss levels still remain the same, and we can see it was successful. Exactly the opposite is true for a short trade, so for a sell trade to be valid, we need to have the background colored in red as our first confirmation. Then we need to wait till price action pull back towards the Huffman no trend line, before we enter trade at the next red candlestick that closed below the Huffman no trend line. So we see we met all our conditions here, as we have our background colored in red as the first confirmation. Then we see that price action pulled back towards the Huffman moving average, and we got our entry point here, where price action closed below the moving average and candlestick colored in red. We we will go ahead and place a sell stop at the bottom of this candlestick, and our stop loss will be at the previous swing high, while our take profit is at two times the risk, and we could see that the trade was successful. And do not forget that whenever we see a green candlestick on a bearish trend, we would not be taking the next red candlestick trade that closes below the moving average. As we can see here, we already had the green candlestick closing above the 3 moving average, so we will not take this trade. We only need to see price retrace towards the Huffman moving average, but not closing above the 3 moving average with a green candlestick present on the chart, as this shows that buyers are already taking position in the market. So traders, please find follow the conditions as stated and watch your account double in size in matter of months you can trade on different trending pairs for more trades within weeks so now traders let's quickly back test our strategy with an account size of $1000 and we would be covering 200 back tested trades as we risk 1% of our capital on each trade let's dive into it So we just finished the back testing for this strategy, and we can see that the results are amazing. We had a win rate of 63% in 200 back tested trades, having won 127 trades and lost 73 which made us 181% return on investment. And I found those wonderful trade setups within 4 months. Although commissions and spread fees would eat up some of the profit in real trading, because it was not included in the back test, so you definitely want to expect that number to be lower when trading life. The profit factor for this strategy is looking good I guess. And we had 8 wins in a row against 5 losses in a row. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with these results. Okay traders. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.